on the plane on the way to Krakow. My memorable moments this year has been watching Sam Nixon and Cardo having the <laughs> memorable banter. I think they secretly love each other. Mexican night and Sadia's rage at the piñata. <laughs> <laughs> she got so angry. Um, year, year 11 for 6, we watched uh, eye surgery. And I walked out the classroom and I fainted. <laughs> 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 Not once, but Jeez. twice. Once after the other. The year 13 class, uh, they've just done their first exam and Jack Abbott, as usual, no calculator. The Free the Shoulder campaign. Squidgy Mitchell, aka Mitchell High. My favourite moment in sick form is walking home with Rosie while she was holding a bin bag full of her own sick. Um, I think the Free the Shoulder campaign was pretty cool. Alicia Tittle, when she asked in my lesson if, um, well, who the Pope is of England. A maths revision session in the Easter holidays and we had a bit of a break and went into the kitchen and uh, Mr Thomas's mug was in there and uh, someone from the group decided to rip out a few cubic hairs and put them in his cup. In food tech, um, Amrit fainted and she hit Kiram and Kiram ran into the oven. And sixth form decided to ban girls' shoulders from the dress code and I wasn't having any of that because that's that's sexist. I feel like memorable moments are cake days. I agree. Whenever we're doing Lenin and Stalin, we have to talk about Jeremy Corbyn. Vote Labour. <laughs> Italy uh, film trip. Go for the Squidgy Pitch. Oh, it's got to be Squidgy Pitch. Naismith in a tennis court. Uh, goes, goes to get the ball. I don't know what, I can't remember. Goes to get the ball. Foot in the net, the rest of his He's unconscious on the floor. 
when Sam Oberson was being really sexist in uh, physics and Mr. Hewitt asked him who got the weakest and I got to put the door open in his face. So <laughs> so it's going to be Thursday afternoon. We have cake afternoon every Thursday afternoon, and everybody knows that I've been on Slimming World forever. But just now and again, I am able to have a little sip, and I really look forward to Thursday afternoon. I think your football team in year eight used to be run by Mr. Purewell, and at that point, you were quite good. I think Mr. Thomas then took you over and began coaching you in year 10 and I don't think you played a match after about one training session, I think it all fell apart. The, 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 was it year 9 or year 10 football team? It was just a joke. <laughs> it was just generally a joke altogether. I think I had it for like three weeks, I was like, I suck at this. <laughs> I don't know what that says about you as a football team or Mr. Thomas about a footballing coach. We'll leave it there. Rosie. 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 Amy. The worst drunk would have to be Nathan. Have you planned yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I've heard a lot. Every time Rosie's drunk, to be honest. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Amy. Oh, yeah. I'm Rosie as well. Because <laughs> she passed out a gig and I had to carry her home while she was vomiting on me and her. Because she never makes it out anywhere. Uh, Throw it up in a girl's one. mouth. Yeah. <laughs> well done, Nathan. You threw up in a girl's mouth. Oh, you, I'm proud of you. I'm not proud of it. <laughs> When Rosie at Airwaves, I wasn't there, but I, I oh, saw some pictures. <laughs> You're awful. You cry. <laughs> All the time. Where is Lachlan? Nothing. Oh Got really and drunk and I made a few a few mistakes. Is that it? Just board to, chatting to Amy Cole, that was the first one. I don't yeah, think it was just <laughs> chatting to Amy Cole. Oh, that's that's a big mistake. I <laughs> <laughs> think it was. I think it progressed from that. And me and Ella and Lashani jumped over the tennis court net and May sprained her ankle and then went to Johnny Mark and her foot swelled up inside her Wellington boot she couldn't get it out again. <laughs> what to say guys, to one of the words, what is wrong? If anything, he's never got drunk. When Harvey touches Luigi, I'm not like, oh, simple! <laughs> I don't really have a social life as much. Every time she can drop ever. Damn, because he's sick after a yeah. long time. <laughs> <laughs> we can't handle it. I've just DJed in my room, you know, like, every day. The worst is going to be George Island. There's just no doubt about it. He does not shut up. I love all our students, I really I do. I love them all. What, what, what did he even say? What, I what? don't even know what he's said. <laughs> <laughs> Just and for the fact it. that he never turns up. Have you seen his dodgy new do? We've got an invisible student. <laughs> Rui Alves, invisible man. Thank you for coming to my lessons for the last three months. The NSH mental group in year 13 are all awesome. It's so annoying, but we're still trying to find a sat, sat friend. Because he hasn't got any friends. Favourite group was uh, year 10, year 11, French. Jasmine! So, yeah, but she's only out of sympathy though. Yeah. So, still trying to find a set of friends, but you know, I, I like it in a way. Kind of. Yeah. I have to say, my year 13 physics students uh, are all wonderful. Edris, I've got a lot of time for Edris, so he's. Um... Edris. 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 It's been live streaming. <laughs> Shout out to Mila, Becky, Cantor. Um, all the best and have a great time. Uh, Millie Jacoby still in 20 years of teaching. The best, most talented linguist I've ever taught. My favourite group of students, I have to say this, is my maths group in year 11. I think it was 11x2. Um, it contained some interesting characters. Now I think all the ones who annoyed me last year have already left. Yeah, fair point. Charlie Berwick, such a rebel. <laughs> <laughs> Edris Hussain, lower down. Cool. The constant smell of cheap aftershave that came from uh, her in Rabidas's desk. And Sean Hart putting her in that same bracket too. Mm. Lovely girl, rarely in lesson. <laughs> the lads who come in late, um, slightly annoying, Musa and Ibs, you know who you are, and Taryn as well. Apart from that, they're great. Owen, I hope one day you get a really good job which pays you a lot of money and you can go and buy some decent aftershave because that stuff in year 10, year 11 was really cheap and nasty, nasty stuff. None of them have wound me up. Some of them are a bit lazy, uh, but I've enjoyed teaching all of them. Aaron McCain used to irritate me when he was in year 9. Yeah. Ammon Samra, I'm going to put him up there. Love Ammon, but don't see him very much. 
He's always always going to the loo, he's always late. That group got the best results I've ever had. You worked hard and I'm sure there'll be no difference this year with your results. Yeah, my, my favourite teacher is Mr. Ty. Yeah, Mr. Baker, what a guy. <laughs> oh, mine's Miss Yan, she's the best one. Oh, Miss Nan. Yeah, I love her so much. You're a little angel. Daniel Radcliffe, Miss Yan. Miss Yan, yeah. Miss Yan's really nice. Yeah, she's 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 nice. Yeah, she
Okay, so this is for both language and literature and literature students year 13. You are all fabulous people. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed being with you this year. And for some of you, I've known you a long time. It's been really great to watch you just develop and grow. I know you'll have fantastic futures ahead. In the meantime, enjoy, stay cool, stay, keep drinking water, and may the force be with you. Bye, good luck. <laughs> Everybody. Miss Atherton here, just wanting to wish you all luck, take every single opportunity available to you and enjoy life, and in the best words of our Year 7 lesson, Tutti! Uh, my Year 13 group probably would be the nicest Year 13 group I've ever, ever had. I'm not saying that just because they sat here listening to me. <laughs> uh, and as I'm leaving as well, we're all leaving together, and I just wish them all the best in the future. Good luck, folks. Good luck, you're 13, you're going to need it. A fabulous time at university. Eat lots of biscuits. There's no use to tell you that you can't have a full packet in one sitting. Really, don't they? Cake every lesson in my lesson. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good luck, you're Good luck. And don't expect cake from the lecturers. Oh, yeah, that won't go. <laughs> Who am? I'd like to say goodbye to all of year 13. Uh, wish you all well. Uh, you're an exciting. That's an exciting time in your lives and you've got loads to look forward to, so make the most of it. Hello Millie, um, Simran and Tora. I hope you have a wonderful time in uni. I really, really enjoyed having you. Um, I'd just like to take this chance to wish you all the very, very best for the future. <laughs> Good luck. Be everything you can be and enjoy what you do. All the best for all of you, um, whether you're into university, whatever you're going to do, um, you've been great students here and go and go and do what you can do, you've got great potential, go and feel like. One thing I certainly will miss is football conversations with Daniel Cowan and also talking fantasy football with Ojin Haydari. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> Look forwards, not backwards. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, you're a long time working, so stay in education as long as possible. Yeah, <laughs> um, always fit in, don't be the odd one out, do what everyone else does. This year is a poignant year for all of us as we are all ending our time in secondary education and I hope that you're all looking forward to the next stage of your lives. It's been a real privilege to watch you grow from the very small children you were in 2010 some of you have changed considerably, but others are still the same. I, fit, I certainly feel that the future is safe in your hands, well, most of you. I hope that all of your dreams come true, but for you to achieve that, you have got to be brave and determined to succeed. Just as we will remember you with great fondness, I hope that you remember us in the same way. Good luck for the future, Year 13. Hi, Year 13. I'm sure you're all enjoying a fantastic assembly and it's going to be a really sad time when you all leave. You've been with us for the whole of your time through seven years at Finham Park and I for one am going to miss you enormously. You've got uh, smiley faces and you laugh at my jokes sometimes and it's good to see at break time and really you will be I suppose my last ever year 13 as a substantive head teacher who's a new head starts in September and although I'll always be around uh, you'll be my last year 13 who I know the best probably so uh, best of luck on your holes, best of luck uh, at university and drop us a line because you'll always be Finn and Parkers. <laughs>